As you can see, we are harvesting our winter garlic. We are here quite southern part of Finland, so we put the gloves into the ground somewhere around October or November, depending about the weather. You should do it before the ground get, get frozen. But if you do it too early, that won't be good either. But this is the time of the year when we get the best garlics from, from there. This variety is called Alexandra in, and it's quite common in Finland. Look what we've got even here in Finland we can get some grape wines. This is uh, Lithuanian grape wine originally called Zilga. This can manage in a cold winters and can tolerate the cold very very well. Uh, this is growing in here and it's been here a few years I don't remember exactly but I think something around three to four years at this moment we only get few few of these but maybe the next year will be the first for the huge harvest but maybe you can cook some juice from these yeah some jam or you can dry these or you can just eat them in a fresh. But they are good ones. You have a little stone in here, you can see it here, but it it kind of breaks when you it, bite it's it. quite soft actually. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, but just we collect these grape wines if we can find them. I think Henny we should do something about this push it's yeah. too it's too heavy and you can it's, cut it yeah like use the main branches but we have just let it grow as it wants yep yay it's september autumn has come you can see it in many ways in our garden and in the nature It's time to do some autumn things. I will collect some seeds from these. But yeah, we are preserving a lot of stuff at the moment. And kind of getting ready for the winter, which is a few months away, but still coming. At the moment it's very, very warm in here. Uh, not maybe typically we have, we don't have this warm. It's nice, but it's been really, really rainy and lots of heavy rains, but... So we haven't been able to do much in the garden last few days, but today at least we're gonna have a little break, so we can do some. Come along. This year we tried to uh, get some tomatoes without any greenhouse. Well, we have tomatoes, <laughs> but it seems that 
all of them are still green. We haven't get actually any red ones yet and I'm trying to get rid of some leaves underneath here that so that they will get more light. But it might be that we need to take these indoors and let them become red there. We'll see. This is uh, the climate here in Finland isn't the best best for growing outdoor tomatoes, but you need to always try. And this summer we had a very warm one, but still uh, they take a lot of time to grow. So, and the summer is quite short in here, but maybe let's hope. And this is not the only one. I think I had at least uh, 10 tomato plants growing in our garden in a different locations. vegetable garden. Now it's time to harvest what we have grown. The I think now it's the time when we get the most of out in here. Uh, here, in, here in we have a zucchini, yellow and green ones. And let's see how huge ones we got. They always I find them grown too big, but it, it doesn't matter, you can still use them. I cut these in a piece I put in a refrigerator mostly, and we are gonna also eat today these. But two different varieties we have here. Mangold is the one we eat a lot and I also preserve it a lot. I put this in a pieces and in a kettle and let it be in a hot water like a minute or something and then cooling down and put it in a plastic bag and do the freezer. Henny, look what we have here. Sure. It's, it's time to collect the beans. Wow, green beans. Green beans. We have many green bean bushes here in, and it's time to harvest these because it's quite rainy and warm. So I want, I want to lose these. Yeah, I think we're gonna pressure cook those. Yep. Later. And our corns. <laughs> well, yeah, you can grow these in, in in Scandinavia. They are not ready yet, so we'll still need to wait. I have few ones in here and few ones in a um, other area. But we just hope that this winter will be warm and not so heavy rain that we have had last few days but let's see i'm wishful that we will get some something to eat we have nice few orange pumpkins in here i'm really happy these are uh, Hokkaido pumpkins, if I recall right. We have uh, at least three in a different places in here, and they can be here and grow more. It's still really nice weather. So I think this is really the best time of the year to get all of this from from the garden, what do you have grown yourself?